for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking the Pixie Beast Tribes in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. And as always, hello from Ifri. What's up? So we are here in the Crystarium at uh, 1315, and we need to talk to the Pink Pixie. So the quest is called Manic Pixie Dream Realm. So the Pink Pixie appears to be spying on some children. The difficulty of the quest will be synced to your current level. Cool. So it happened again. I had another scary dream. Me too. In mine, a bunch of toys became a monster and chased me all over. What? I had the exact same dream. This can't be a coincidence. The Pixies. I'll wager they're behind it. Those beings in Il Meg, the grown ups say we must never go near. I, them. Uh, Mammy said that if you're naughty, they'll come into your dreams and drag you off to a world of nightmares. Really? Oh no, I haven't been doing my chores. I must hurry home and finish them. <laughs> uh oh. Not chores. So, uh, hmm. Uh, it seems they were right. What a dilemma this is. And to think that they pinned the blame on us. We like fun dreams, not scary ones. Uh, let's see. I'll have to... I'll have no mischief on my watch. Is something the matter? You what? Uh, give a pixie a fright sneaking up like that. And how can you even see me anyway? Wait, I know you. You're the new king's uh, sapling. And I've been wanting to meet you since forever. Mifri is your name, is it not? My name is Terbeck. And I'm the leader of the dream spinners. Oh yes, I'm an expert at spinning dreams. And for this, they call me the weaver. Though weird and eccentric are often thrown around too. But whatever others say, there's no place I love more than children's fun-filled dreams. But there's a problem. We've recently been shut out of the dreams. At around the same time, I received word the children were being uh, racked by nightmares. So I came here to investigate, and it just it's just as I feared. I suppose a few things bear explaining. Simply put, someone's trying to ruin our precious uh, Lay Meg, the Garden of Dreams, and they must be stopped. You know, this problem concerns mortals as well, and as an upstanding member of your kind, it pains you to see your fellow suffer from nightmares, doesn't it? Of course it does. And that's why you'll lend me your aid. Without further ado, then, let's set to work solving this problem. Come with me to the place called Sullen, west of here. We're going to rendezvous with another ally. Okay, so I need to go to Sullen. So where is Sullen? I teleport straight there? I can't. Alright, so once we get there, we will continue. Okay, we made it to Solon, so let's talk to this pixie. But, ah, you came. You really came. Um, it's true what they say. The king's sapling is as kind as she is strong. Right then, our ally should be around here somewhere. Um, in case you were wondering, it's a porksy. Those pig-like familiars, and one that has a fondness for nightmares. Uh, my new Mo acquaintance, um, who alerted me to the strangeness in the children's dreams, has sent it to aid us. Okay. That was difficult to read. Uh, did someone say nightmares? I guess this one. You what? It's enormous. I'm sure this is a metaphor for something. You know when they say when pigs can fly. 
Uh, well, of course I'm enormous. It would be impossible to contain all my cuteness otherwise. Uh, nor your vanity, it seems. Ah, but where are my manners? Um, Azel, um, ill. Dream devourer extraordinaire at your service. Uh, you show me a nightmare and I'll show you a feast. Now, you'll be wondering what a familiar is doing without its master. Well, by virtue of the hat that my creator bestowed upon me, I am my own master. Yes, yes, you're not ordinary, ordinary porksy. Good for you. Now, I trust you know about the trouble that's afoot. Oh, I more than know about the mass nightmares that have been plaguing mortals. I already have a suspect in my sights. Truly? Uh, my investigation leads me to believe that a certain pixie bereft of colour is our culprit. Um, of late, they have been sighted fluttering about most suspiciously in the vicinity of Le Gia. Bereft of colour? How unusual. Now, this pixie has the ability to manipulate dreams directly. Without entering Le Meg, such a power uh, they could seal away the garden's gates completely. What? But to be able to do that, you have to uh, be at least the equal of uh, Titania. You're confused, mortal, and small wonder. But rather than trying to explain, it would be quicker to simply show you. After all, by keeping company with the Weaver, you've already stepped into the place between dreams and reality. Come. Alright. So, I need to follow them. Right. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we are here. Let's talk to him. So, do you see the little girl there, moaning and muttering in her sleep? The stench of a nightmare per uh, pervades her, unnatural in its potency. Uh, please, please give back my doll. It's all I have left of mother. From what I know, the child is an orphan of whole Mr. Switch. Though she was adopted, she struggles to fit in with her new family and feels alone. Tell me, mortal, at what times do you experience nightmares? Um, when I eat too much cheese. That's usually the way. All men are driven by certain needs. When severely deprived of a need, their hearts come to harbour a void in which torment quickens. This torment then assumes terrible forms of dreams and takes root in the dreamer's heart. Tragic enough that this little girl lost her mother, but she also had her doll, a source of solace taken from her by her stepbrother. It is heart -rending, a heart-rending tale. Yes, truly heart-rending. If that's a word. So, the stinky sweet aroma, I can't resist it anymore. I'm going to look away. If you excuse me, friends, it's time for me to do what I do best. Is he going to munch on the nightmares? Yeah. So yes, very flavoursome. And now the child is free of uh the matter. The nightmare is richer than anything I've ever eaten. On my belly, I think uh I think I'm gonna throw up. What? You can't. 
we'd be back to where we started. Leave that child alone. Uh oh. So you, who are you? Judging by your color, you're not from uh, Lihad Lar. Who am I? Um, I suppose and lad will suffice for a name. So oh, and lad, you have lots of power. Uh, that much is plain. Are you the one plaguing the children with nightmares? Plaguing? We simply share each other's misery. That child understands me, understands my loneliness. So I sealed the gate that she might be my friend and mine alone. There's nothing you can do. No mere familiar can remove the dream I've sworn. Um, even if I could, <clears throat> the dream will always return and the child's own heart embraces it. Not good. If she can't break free of the dream's hold, her mind will inevitably be consumed. She would die. Ah, what a pain this is. It doesn't bother me so much what happens to a few mortals, but it does bother me to have their precious garden ruined. I hate to use my powers this way, but I have an idea. If it's a child's own heart that embraces a nightmare, then we'll just have to change it. Um, Ezel, you can bring that nightmare back up, but first we have to get somewhere far away from here. Ify, I need your help too, come on. So why, why must you torment me? I wonder if this pixie is related to Titania in any way. We've got the same color scheme. Oh. Oh, now then, Mifri, for better or worse, you're about to see why they call me the Weaver. Here I go. So, you what? That was inside me? And this is where you come in, Mifri. Vanquish that nightmare creature. The, like the, uh, what's it called? The kid's toy as a monster. Okay, let's go. I have a special gift for you. There we go. Take five fell cleaves to the face. And nearly there, ten percent to go. So my, you truly are strong. The king chose the uh, sapling well. Now then, your victory will have changed the ending to the child's dream. She'll awaken feeling as though she has conquered her fears. Um, had you not felled that nightmare, it would inevitably find its way back to the child. 
Um, excellently done, Mifri. Right, let's hurry back to Sullen and see how she fares. Um, Ezel and I will hide and leave the talking to you. Okay. So, once we get back to Sullen, we will continue. Okay, so we're back. So, where am I? Did I fall asleep? Uh, thanks for waking me up. Uh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Mother's worried, so um, hurry up and go home. So, brother, I'm sorry. It seems I dozed off. Wait. There's something I want you to know. It's been lonely. I didn't know how to fit in. Uh, what to say and what to do. What? What's this all of a sudden? You haven't so much as spoken a dozen words to us before, much less talked about your feelings. I know, I was too scared. So, and I don't know why, but I feel I have the courage now to say how I feel. There's one other thing, the doll. It was a present from my mother. She gave it to me so I wouldn't be lonely. Is that the way of it? I'm sorry, I didn't realize how important it was to you. Only meant to tease you, is all. I'll give it back, alright? So, come on, let's go home together. It seems that you've been watching over my sister. Thank you. Please take care, and see you again. It's amazing that every single character in the game sounds like me. What a coincidence. So well, that went rather well, mortals. Uh, are surprisingly impressionable things. I see, I see. By eliminating the child's nightmares, we wrought a positive change in her reality, thereby eliminating the void in which her torment resided. Something like that. And Lad appeared to be drawn to the torment in her heart. With it gone, they have no more reason to plague her. And with that, we may begin reclaiming our precious... Uh, Lai Meg. No matter what, I'll keep it safe. I promise you, Titania. So, you're even more adorable when confused. For now, let's just say that you've done me a great service. By way of thanks, it's only fitting that I invite you to our playground. Come to uh, uh, Ladhar uh, Lan and seek out my friend Ton Sol. They will show you the way in. So, having played an instrumental part in our success, it goes without saying that I'm inviting, I'm invited as well. Oh, alright, so let's go, we can teleport straight there, so we should be okay. Okay. And aha, uh -huh. dreamkeeper. Ah, uh, Mifri, I presume. I've been expecting you. Uh, you should know it's quite risky for a mortal to enter the Garden of Dreams while wide awake. You might not be able to fall asleep ever again. That could be interesting too, I suppose. Anyway, by order of Tia Beck, one of the esteemed founders of Lameg, I bid you welcome. Hey, let's enter. Interesting. 
Oh, this place is huge. Is she gonna, like, reveal a bunch of, like, architecture? Oh, welcome, Mifri, welcome. You stand within an illusionary space created by our magics. Normally it's filled with fun things, but it's been empty like this since the gates were sealed off. The gates lead to the dreams of mortals in various regions of Novrant, you see. They allow us to interact with dreams, to shape them and rollick in them. A sinister magic hangs over the gates, the work of an lad. I shouldn't doubt. So it seems. How did you get in here? Why, uh, Thon's uh, soul showed me in, of course. And even if I weren't your distinguished guest, my cuteness doubtless would have won them over. You're not nearly as cute as you think you are, but all right. You can stay. Now, where was I? Right, with that little girl freed from her nightmares, I sense that the magic over the gates has weakened. Slightly, but surely. Uh, this is because Anne Ladd lost interest in the girl. I'm sure of it. We should be able to open up the gates again. The one leading to Lakeland. Hmm, I grasp the situation now, but I dare say our mortal friend is confused. Permit me to summarize it all for her benefit. Anne Ladd has identified mortals across Novran who strongly share their torment and planted nightmares in them. In order to prevent interference, they sealed off the gates to the locales beyond. These mortals under Anlad's hold um, have spread their influence to uh, those around them, giving rise to the phenomenon of mass nightmares. Why do you suppose Anlad is giving people nightmares? Pixies do things for fun, Anlad seems different. It is quite a mystery indeed. Uh, knowing Anne Ladd's motivations will be the key to our efforts, and rest assured I shall continue sniffing about for answers. Alright, that's enough talking, let's do something fun for a change. Mifri, I'm going to lend you my power. Uh, what I want to do is stand before the gate yonder, reach out to it, while holding an image of Lakeland in your mind. Okay, so do we have to do each of these gates? slowly making progress I do like this sort of thing like rebuilding and seeing the effects of the work done having a positive influence on the area around you so with that we reopened the first gate we only have a few dream bubbles though, so we can't do much here yet. The bubbles hold the memories of mortals' fun and happy dreams. They are... sorry. They are used to fill our garden with all sorts of delightful things. Sorry, they are used to. They are used to fill our garden with all sorts of delightful things. I have to read that a couple of times. <laughs> and we can never have enough of them. On that now, we could still use your help, Mifri. We went through a lot to reopen the, the gate. We have to make sure that it stays opened. By freeing the little girl in Solon from her nightmares, you and yours have reclaimed the dreams of those in Lakeland. 
Uh, Turbak appears eager to restore Lay Meg to its former fun-filled glory, and for this they require your aid. At which point the uh, these tries will be unlocked, right? Okay, let's talk to the fairy or the pixie. Right, let's continue this back inside. I'll arrange it so that you can always return here. Just let uh, Fun Soul know whenever you want to come and go. Cool. Right. An interesting place. It really is. I like it. So, the more that we level up the Pixie Beast tribe, the more that we're going to see like this filled with well, I guess filled with fairies, but I wonder if it's going to be filled with structures as well, like buildings and stuff. I guess we'll see. Alright. So, let's quickly go back. Hey, keep us all the way over there. It might actually be quicker to just teleport out. Leaving already? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, there you have it, Mifri. Uh, Lime Meg. It's a bit bare at the moment, I know, but we'll collect more dream bubbles and we'll fill the place with fun things again. Uh, what are the gates to the other regions? Shouldn't we try to reopen them as well? Uh, we should, and we will, but first we need to focus on the one that's already open. As it stands, Lakeland is still vulnerable to Anlad's influence. In order to keep them and their nightmares away, we must keep the mortals happy by filling the region with lots of fun dreams. So you see, Mifri, there's still much to be done. It won't keep you helping us so that um, the mortal and pixies can have a place to play together? As long as you don't play tricks on me. Azar, thank you, Mifri. Rest assured, I wouldn't dream of playing tricks on you. After all, I'm a good Titania-fearing pixie. Without further ado, then, let's get to work bringing the smiles to the people of Lakeland. For your part, I want you to gather lots of dream materials, items that we can enchant and use to rebuild Lay Meg. Lakeland is home to many lonely orphans. The objects that would alleviate loneliness would be ideal. My thanks in advance, Mifri. Um, I too shall continue my investigation. This Porksy will not, however, sorry, will not hover idly by while stomach churning nightmares plague the land. Oh, cool. it's complete. So the Beast Tribe is now unlocked. They're called the Dream Spinners. So you've achieved friendly reputation with the Dream Spinners. Pixie Tribe Beast uh, quests are now available from Uni in uh, Laharan. Uh, furthermore, you may now purchase wares from Joel Ul. Cool. So, okay, so there's quests there. So I'll do the quests until I hit the next reputation level and then we'll see what happens next. So anyway guys that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.